Hi kindergartners, this is Mr. Pope. And this is Keaton. So we're your principal and assistant principal, and we cannot wait for Tuesday when you're gonna start school. So we're gonna start talking a little bit about everything that you should expect when you come on campus. So we are standing right in front of the kindergarten gate. Uh, so let's talk about some of the things that we need you to do before school. So parents, you are all gonna sign up for the Lumisite website. And in that, we need you to screen for symptoms every day. We just wanna make sure that nobody's coming on campus sick. And so parents, we need you to do that every day. Every single day. Okay, and, may, and hopefully you do that before you leave. So if you're at AM, you leave, you could do it, you do it right in the morning before you get in the car. And same thing with PM, we just need you to do it in the same day, but every day they come on campus, okay? So when you arrive to school, some of you may park way in the back of the lot and walk up. And when, you, when I mean way in the back, I mean that overflow lot in the very back of the school. And then you can walk along this sidewalk all the way up to the school. If you arrive a little early, we will have these space markers on the ground so that you could stay six feet apart because that's gonna be the most important thing is that we are gonna maintain what we call distance from each other, okay? So if you, if you get here before eight o'clock, we're gonna have everything, you're gonna line up and make sure you keep your distance from other kiddos, okay? And then the other thing we need you to have is the mask. Okay, so everybody's gonna wear the mask. Mrs. Keaton has a really nice uh, avocado mask going on. I've got kind of a plain one, but either way, Doesn't it's the matter. same thing. Kids, these are like superhero masks because superheroes, what do superheroes do? They keep each other safe. They, they make, they make, they make people safe. safe and they save people. And so by wearing this mask, you are saving others. So don't forget your superhero mask. If you do, it's okay, we'll have some extras here. But the main thing is, before you arrive to school, get the screening done, have your mask on, and, and, and have a happy face because it's gonna be so much fun having you back on campus. Okay, students, so when you arrive to school, we're gonna have lots of staff members out here to help you, lots of friendly faces, really friendly adults. And parents, if you had completed the app before you got in the car, we're gonna run a report and so we're gonna know who's being completed the app. If you forgot and you do it on your phone, just make sure you have your badge. You're gonna get a badge that says you're good to go and have that available so you could show us so that we can get you in the door as soon as possible. So we'll have staff members out here ready to get you into class. Mrs. Keaton's gonna talk about what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a ticket for class. And what is it gonna look like, Mrs. Keaton? So every class is going to have their own special color. So when you come to school and we've got you all checked in, we're gonna hand you a magic ticket with a color on it. And that color is going to help guide you to the classroom you need to be in. I'll just show you a few examples for right now. If you're gonna get a pink ticket, that's Mr. Swanette. If you get a yellow ticket, that's Mrs. Schmeiser. You're gonna see everybody has their own color. And here's the fun part, you guys. When you get your ticket and you enter through our gate, you're going to follow your ticket's color arrow on the ground. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Should we go in and see what it looks like? Come see, come see what we Come check it out. So I'm gonna keep my distance from Mrs. Keaton yes, because that's good. Oh, I found, okay, so if I am green, I found a green arrow along with many others. Gotta keep following the green, are we ready? Keep All right. going. We're gonna keep hugging the wall too. This is where we're gonna be over here. Come to this corner right here. Uh oh, the arrows oh. change. The arrows change. Orange arrow is going to go into Mrs. Estrada's room. She's room one. So if you have an orange ticket in your hand, you're gonna see the orange arrow on the ground and it's pointing into Mrs. Estrada's room because she's the orange classroom. You'll be an orange colt. Hi, Mrs. Estrada. Oh, there she is. How are you doing? <laughs> I can't wait for you to come. <laughs> All right, kids, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're going to keep hugging the wall over here. Oh, I see some more arrows. Let's keep going, you guys. Oh, we've got three arrows right here. We've got blue and pink and green. Now they're pointing in this direction. You're going to go through the secret hallway. But my yellow arrow, that's Mrs. Schmeiser. 
She's just at the end of the hallway right here, so Yellow Arrow will take you straight to Mrs. Schmeiser. Come take a look at the secret hallway. It's going to lead us to room 6, 7, and 8. Here we go. So if I have Miss Beharano, Mr. Swanett, or Happy Hamilton, I'm going through room two. Come on. Look on the ground. More arrows. Pink, blue, and green. Let's see if we can go find some more arrows. I see him, Mrs. Keaton. I see him. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go this way. We're going to go this way. Come on, students. Oh, we have some teachers here. Hi, teachers. They're excited to see you. Welcome back. Oh, good, you guys. So if I'm in Mrs. Beharano's class, I'm going to go right in there, room six. That's going to be where I'm finding my color. Oh, look, there's Mrs. Beharano. Are you ready for Tuesday? Oh, God. All right. And right next door to Miss Bejarano is our pink arrow, and that's Mr. Swanitz. All right. Oh, we have one going. more. We have one more, Mr. Pope. We have to find the green arrow. Where's the green arrow? Where oh, it's it? further down. Oh, it's further it down. Here it is. Camp Happy Hamilton is right here. I found it. There it is. And she'll have this sign nice and big. So when you come down that hallway, and you've got your green ticket. We're going to get you straight to Camp Happy Hamilton in room A. Hi, campers! <laughs> She's so excited, as are we all. We can't wait to have a great time with you guys and your magic tickets and following the arrows. It's going to be a great fun time, and we'll have lots of friends helping you get to the perfect place for you. All right, students, so now we are inside a classroom. Yeah, this is Mr. Swanette's classroom. Doesn't Check this look out. like so much fun? All the classrooms. The teachers have been spending so many days getting their classrooms ready for you. And check it out. Everybody's going to have their own personal back cave. Yes, I love You're it. You're going to have your own little area with one of these dividers, and this is going to be your home base. And we just need you to stay in your home base when you're in the classroom. That's right. And don't forget, we're going to have a special container for your supplies only. So only you're going to touch this box. It's going to have your special things so in So, Mrs. There. King, can I, can I share some pencils with you? No, you know, we really can't do that, Mr. Pope. We have to have our own things. So whatever's in this box is what you touch, but you don't touch anybody else's supplies. Sounds good. Oh, let's talk about masks. Do you want to talk about masks? I think we should. Okay, you guys. Remember, these are your superhero masks. You keep these on the whole time you're at school. So even when you're sitting down in your desk, we need you to keep them over your nose and over your mouth. Exactly. Thanks, students. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was just like the best day oh, ever. Oh my gosh, when Mrs. Estrada made those funny those funny voices, oh I just gosh. lost it. That just made the book that much better. Oh, my, it? oh gosh. my gosh, I'm gonna be laughing all day. Oh, what day. a fun day in kindergarten. Oh, but now it's time to go home, Mr. It is Pope. time to go home. So what do I do when it's time for me to go home? Well, first of all, I'm gonna follow my teacher carefully, and I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna make sure I've got space, and I'm gonna go to my special zone. Now, right in front of me is, is Mrs. Schmeiser's special zone because she's the yellow room. So I'm gonna walk over here, I'm gonna find a yellow spot and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna wait for my mom or dad to pick me up and I'm gonna make sure that I'm not too close to my buddies. And you'll notice that there's only so many spots in here because we can only have so many friends in one zone. So you're gonna, so students, you're gonna stay in your spot and then parents, when you drive by, we're gonna give you a colored placard for your car and an area to write your child's name on it so we're going to be able to see you drive by now parents we need you to drive all the way up yeah, the way because what makes us efficient is getting all the cars in here and getting a nice smooth traffic we can't have any miss schmeiser's parents stopping right here because then that stops everybody else right. so let's say we see a, a, a parent from mrs schmeiser's class pull all the way up to the front the students are going to walk in our traffic lane and you can see there's directional signs that all students are going to maintain six feet apart and they're going to walk all the way up to the car and get in the car safely. And we've got lots of help. We're going to have lots of school helpers help your child get into the car. Tons of people. So don't worry about them walking alone. We'll make sure that they are helped into the car and on their way home.
And parents, if you decide to, to park and walk up, that's totally fine. Just please avoid the student areas and we can go back to where you entered. We still have those markers on the ground and just keep yourself socially distant while we wait for the students to come out. Hey, you know what we should talk about? What should we talk about? Let's talk about grab and go. Grab and go. So students, we still have our nice grab and go lunches. That's right. It not only is a lunch, but it's also a breakfast, lots of good healthy food in there. And what we're gonna do, if you're in the AM, at 10:45, we're gonna bring those lunches to you. What nice service! So awesome. So if you would like to take a, a lunch home with you, just grab one of the bags. Our, our noontime supervisors, Mrs. Keaton, and I will all be out here helping you grab your lunch. That's right. And you can take it right into your car, and you'll have lunch and breakfast for the next day. What if I'm a PM student? So if you're a PM student, we need you to come to school at 12:55, which is 20 minutes before Wait school a starts. 11:55. You're right, Mrs. Mom. Keaton. Thank you so much. It's 11. 11.55. We start school at 12.15, so 11.55, we would like you to line up in front of the multi-purpose room, and we have colored dots, dots. there too yeah. to keep you socially distant, and we will be, we'll be able to feed you lunch and then go right into your classroom, and we'll take care of it. So parents, not to worry. If you drop them off hungry at 11.55, yep. we'll get them fed and get them and into class. To class. Well, I think that's it, Mrs. Keaton. I'm just so excited. It's it's like right around the corner. School's open, Mr. Polk, I in can't just a few wait. days. We're finally here. It's been so long without uh, students on campus. We, we, we're just so excited to see you. We hope you sleep well. We make sure you get a healthy breakfast before you arrive or a healthy lunch before you arrive for the PM because it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get snack time and things like that. So make sure that you're ready to go for school with all your materials and be ready to have fun. We'll see you on Tuesday.